Hey guys, Aloha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So this is my third time filming this intro. Don't ask why. But today I'll be doing this look right over here. Not sure what I call it yet, but you guys will figure it out in the title and I'll figure it out once I think of a title. But it's a super sexy, sultry, smoky eye, glamorous makeup look. And this is a very important video and I'll tell you why. It's kind of three videos in one because you guys have been requesting a cut eyeliner tutorial, which is in this video. You've been requesting a glamorous Arabic eye makeup look for weddings, parties, graduation, prom, whatever your heart desires. That's also in this video. And you guys have been requesting a quick and easy way of how I apply my eyelashes, which is also in this video. So it's kind of like killing three birds with one stone. So. Yeah, this is a very informative video. You guys should definitely watch it. But yeah, so I think I got everything covered. I'm pretty sure I do. Hmm, well, I'll figure it out. Anyway, if you guys wanna learn how to get this look, please stay tuned. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already, and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. Just apply a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Dirty 30s Beauty Sponge to blend this out. Next, I'll be going in with some setting powder. This is the Crayon Cases Chalk Dust Setting Powder in the shade C to just set this concealer in place. The palette I'll be using today is the Tardis Pro Remix Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to go in with this transition shade right here called Wall Art. And I'm just gonna apply this to my crease. I'm also gonna deepen that outer corner. I got this from the Tarte event the other day and I was so excited to play with it because there's so many possibilities with this palette. And I love a palette that has a ton of different shades. Like, yeah, it's good to always have those neutral palettes and those colorful, vibrant palettes. But I love a palette that has the best of both worlds. Because then you can travel with it. And then you don't need to take like 8 million palettes with you. Like I do when I travel. I don't see a dark brown in here, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that black eyeshadow and mix it with the transition shade that we just used to deepen the outer crease a little bit more. I need a smaller crease brush to add some black alone to the outer corner only. I know it looks like it's not blended right here, but that's because those are veins. That's not eyeshadow. We're going to clean this area up so we don't have to be too neat with it. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade called Flow since it's a cool champagne color. And I'm going to apply that to my lids. I'm just going to use my finger for this. Using that blending brush, I'm going to blend these two shades together. Next going in with the shade Inspiration, I'm going to apply this to the inner corners. Now I'm just going to apply some concealer to my lower lash line to prime that as well. I'm going to use the concealer to clean up the edges a little bit also. 
Using a small tapered brush, I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Next, using my Tardist eyeliner, I'm gonna use the pencil side to line my waterline and tight line my eyes, and then I'll be winging out my eyeliner with the liquid pen side. Go in with a smaller brush and smoke out the inner corner as well. Next, going into the makeup wipe, I'm just gonna clean up the lower lash line and this eyeshadow line. That looks so much better. Now going back in with my TARDIS eyeliner, I'm gonna use the liquid pen side to wing my liner. First thing I do is draw a straight line and then I connect it. And there you have it. Now I'm going to do the inner corner. So I don't like how this eyeliner has a little bit of a shine to it. So I'm just going to mattify that with black eyeshadow. See, that's much better. Just like that. And I'm going to intensify the outer corner a little bit more using some more black eyeshadow. Don't worry if it gets messy, we could still clean that up with a makeup remover wipe. Okay. Go back in with your wipe and clean it up again. Then you'll have something like this and we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and do my foundation, bronzer, contour, all that good stuff. And then I'll be back to finish off this look with you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and did my full foundation, contour, highlight, blush, all of that. I also filled in my brows. And now we're going to go into the next step of our eyes. So I'm going to be going in with my Tardist mascara and applying this to my lashes. This was my Holy Grail mascara for such a long time. Then I stopped using it and now I'm like in love with it again. Okay, you could either leave it just like this and go onto your lips or you could be extra like me and apply lashes. So these are the two lashes that I like and I wanna go with today. Well, one of the two. This is the Exterior Glam and Tarte Collaboration and uh, let's see which one I want. The first style is called Zero to 100. It's got more of like a spiky look to it and then it's more flared out on the outside. The second pair of lashes is called Kosova and they're more wispy and a little bit more natural than the first pair. So I think I'm gonna go with this, the first pair, which is Zero to 100. So this is the pair that I'm gonna be going with because I have a cat eye. I just feel like this is gonna complement the cat eye really well. And these are vegan, cruelty free, ultra wispy, and ultra wispy and dramatic falsies to take your look from zero to 100. I think that's actually the perfect size for my eyes. I'm just gonna apply the glue. And you have to let this glue get tacky and then put them on. 
When I first started this eye makeup, I didn't think I was going to be a fan. Because I'm not a fan of, like, cool tones. But I'm a fan! I like to apply to the center first, then the outer corner, and then the inner corner. Close, make sure that's on there really well. And give it a little touch. And just like that, we're done. I like to go in with my little curler by Reveal Beauty, and I like to press my natural lashes together with my falsies. Now I'm gonna apply the other one so I don't look crazy. Okay, so now everything is pretty much complete. I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. First, I'll be going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics Skimpy Lip Liner. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Milani Matte Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lavish. I want to make my lips a little bit more lighter, so I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in I Am Nude. I'm only applying this to the center. And for my lip gloss, I'll be going in with Artist Couture's Lip Gloss in the shade Climax. Okay guys, so you could totally stop here and completely be done with it. Your entire face is finished. However, I'm Alaha and I'm extra. Hi. And I'm gonna be going in with a setting spray, but like not a setting spray. Like my Temp2 AirPod Pro. You guys have seen this many times on my channel. And if you have not, I have videos, so check them out. And I'll be going in with my Temp2 Brilliant Glow Primer slash this can be a primer, it can be a setting spray, which is what I'm using it as, or you can just wear it alone to kind of give you a nice, healthy glow. And this is the empty cartridge. Shake that up. Just gonna pour a few drops in here. Oops. Turn that baby on. And spray. See the glow that it gives me instantly? And now we are done. So did you guys see what that just did for me? It gave me beautiful radiant skin and it also acts as my setting spray so my face don't move, you know? So that's always a plus in my book. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You guys have been asking for a wing liner and a like smoky wing for the longest time. So I figured I'd combine the two. You can do either or, or you can combine them and get something like this. And you guys have been asking for glamorous makeup that you could wear to like parties and weddings and prom and all that good stuff. So this kills all those birds with one stone. So yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on the bell notifications. So you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're not following me already, you guys already know. Please go ahead and follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of that is at Makeup by Alaha. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for staying until the very end. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.